What is up guys, we are here with um, Get Wars 2 and I know this game has been out for quite a long time but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna do a tutorial series, I'm gonna try and do it in little parts, um, parts of you know mainly uh, 5 to, well not 5, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so without wasting any more time I'm gonna go into the character creation um, that's gonna be the first part the second part is gonna be uh, a little summary about the classes so you guys can choose which class so this is the first part this is just a character creation so when you first start off uh, all this will be blank and all this will not be on here everything will be blank here so um, So when you first start up the game, you are asked to you pick a server. Now you gotta pick carefully because you cannot switch servers. So even if you delete all the characters, you're still stuck on the same server. Uh, when you've got no characters at all, you can actually transfer uh, for free, but it has a seven day cooldown. So make sure you pick whatever server you want. Uh, the servers I really recommend are Whiteside Rich. Uh, Pike and Square, Seafarer's Rest, uh, but you might have a queue in Seafarer's Rest, but it's you know very high populated. Uh, Aurora Glade is a really good server as well. So uh, those are the servers I kind of recommend. I'm on Whiteside Rich. Um, it's a pretty fun server. I mean, I'm in the biggest guild on the server right now. And. I don't, I don't know, it's it's a pretty fun server, so uh, you can also switch your <coughs> location, so if you're from America you can pick an American server. Uh, as you can see <laughs> American servers are only very high to fall, so yeah Europe is a bit less populated, but I think you know, I still think Europe is better than America, so <laughs> uh, anyways, you want to create and then you got the five races. You've got Char, which is basically like a wolf kind of thing. The cool thing about Chars is they got a really cool running animation. Whenever you're out of combat, you run on your four legs. So you run like a dog, basically, like a wolf, which is really cool. And you've got humans. Uh, not much to say about those. Those are just your ordinary human from any animal world, basically. You've got your Norns, these are the big uh, beefy um, winter guys, they live in the uh, snow mountains area basically, and yeah, <laughs> most of them are like big and beefy, so uh, you can't really miss it. Really good characters for Guardians because, you know, they're gonna be tanky anyway, so Azuras, these are kind of like the alien um, type of race they are also the scientists of the game so if you see a robot it's probably from the Azuras because they built it <laughs> um, and then you've got your push people your uh, race that is actually connected to the fauna and flora of the world that's you know connected to the trees to the plants that's these guys they look green they look like you know they cover up with plants and shit so Uh, after you make a character, I'll just go and make a new one. You can choose female or male. Uh, I'm gonna go with male this time. And then you've got your eight job professions, which are your classes. First, elementalist, warrior, guardian, engineer, mesmer, thief, necromancer, and ranger. I'm gonna talk about. Uh, I'm gonna talk more in depth about these classes on my second part of the tutorial. So you guys can actually go ahead and skip to that part. Um, I'll skip to that video because it's going to be another video. Uh, so you guys can, you know, see all the kind of differences that they have, and you can try them all out. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to pick a class. Doesn't matter what. You can choose your height. This doesn't really change anything. I think the hitbox is still the same, even if you're lower. 
to hide our armor to you know, see <laughs> toggle your lightning uh lighting <laughs> lightning zoom in if you got your face features physique you know you can have that's that's a good feature to you know disable the armor for a second so you can see how you are like this one is like hairy and shit <laughs> I like a clean shaved one. <laughs> you can choose your uh, skin color. Sorry, I, I couldn't get out the work. Uh, still skin color, so you know. Uh, faces, you can have a face. I'm just gonna pick this guy. Hairstyle, so you can have your hairstyle. And as you can see, the hair actually moves. So if you got long hair, it moves. If you got short hair, it doesn't really move that much, or well, not at all. So hair color. I'm gonna make him like gray bluish. Accessory. You know, if you got an accessory, if you got like a hair clip here, then it will be purple or red or whatever you want it to be. Facial hair, it's kind of self explanatory. Face details, you can mess around with this. You can, like, whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. If you want to be Chinese, you can be like that. But it's not, you know, meant to be racist, but Chinese tend to have these kind of eyes. So, eye color, nose, mouth, chin, you're gonna just look through that and then you've got your armor dice now it doesn't really matter which uh, color combination you pick in there because you can always change it for free in the game itself um, so you're just gonna do that something like that that is cool so after that you get your choices now the choices will um, affect your personal storyline the first choice will do nothing at all to your storyline it's just uh, a vanity kind of item so uh, depending on what class you take you can always have um, starter gear basically so if you want this helm you can choose this uh, option if you want this helm you can have this option if you want no helm at all and you want troller pads then you got this option and it's kind of like uh, during your storyline you get choices you either beat stuff up uh, you, sh you show some dignity or you know you're loving so you can pick a choice um, you know dignity whatever and then this choice in the streets by common folk and among the nobility this actually affects your storyline uh, I think this affects your first um, storyline, like the first, not the tutorial, because when you spawn your character you have a tutorial, but after that it's your first uh, storyline mission, I think this one affects that. So you can try them all out on different characters. And then this choice will lead you to all different places on the land, depending on which choice you pick. So this is, you know after the first storyline depending on which choice you pick it's gonna uh, evolve your character into different ways so and this one uh, I don't think this one actually affects your storyline at all um, it's just you know whatever god you want so just pick one that you like and then you've got your name you can name it spaces like the awesome not something like that and then you can go ahead and you can also read your storyline here uh, with all the choices that you've made um, as you can see here I'm a warrior and I wear no helm at all on the battlefield so that's because I didn't pick a helm so that is character creation hope you guys enjoyed this first part and the next part we're gonna go back a few steps uh, onto the classes and then I'm gonna explain all the classes um, know what they uh, are capable of so 
Until next time, just be zero, I'm out.